Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing uh, notebooks from Standard Bindery. Uh, these are Tomo River paper notebooks uh, and they come from Standard Bindery. Now Standard Bindery uh, was uh, book binders online uh, from Queensland in Australia. Great stationery store have rebranded as Standard Bindery and have started releasing some of their own products. Now, I was sent a few of these notebooks to review, and so I'm going to show them here. Uh, and But there is a little video I did of unpackaging this stuff, which I will link to down below, just so you can see sort of some of the other stuff you can get there as well, and a few other details. So, um, let's just have a quick look at some notebooks. So we will start here with the uh, smaller version. I've left these unpacked. Un uh, well, wrapped up, unopened, uh, and I've used the bigger ones that I also have uh, to sort of do the paper tests and things because it's the same paper uh, in these as it is in the others, except these are cream. So this is how the notebooks come packaged as a set of two, nicely packaged in brown paper with a lovely label over the top. I think this is absolutely awesome. Uh, and as you can see, the notebooks are 52 GSM. Uh, these ones are 124 by 90 millimeters, so they're sort of roughly passport size. Uh, the colour of the paper is cream and they have 80 pages. It has a 270 GSM dark grey cover and archive orange fly sheet, triple stapled for strength. Tom River paper. Uh, and, you know, bound in Brisbane, Australia for Standard Binder, and there's their website. Archive everything being their little motto, which I think is nice. Um, so let's open them and uh, we'll see what they're like. So as I said, these are the pocket uh, version of the notebooks, um, and they are nice and small. So see the triple sta staple bound, which is brilliant for strength. Um, the orange sheet there, and this lovely dark grey cover. And this is the Tomo River Cream 52 GSM uh, paper. As I said, the larger notebooks use the 52 GSM white paper. Um, so these are like standard sort of small pocket notebooks, standard binary sort of embossed there in silver monogrammed if you will on the back really lovely these are quite sturdy um you know they're, they're st the staple binding as you'll see on the larger version holds up very nicely uh and the paper is super high quality so i just wanted to open these to show you what they look like completely fresh but let's look at the bigger ones now so i've been using this uh, can't quite get it in frame. I've been using this for a little while. For I use this for my Robert Oster month on Instagram, where I so I've used it for a lot of different Robert Oster inks and sort of a few others as well. Um, if you look in the back here, I've done a sort of fairly decent sort of test with fountain pen ink. Tomo River paper is considered the, some of the best for fountain pens. So things like Lamy Petrol, Ackerman Simplicity's Violet, Diamond Oxford Blue, Noodler's Bay State Blue. Raw and Klinger Cassia, some Parker ink there with a range of different pens ranging from you know Pelican M805 which is quite wet to a sort of an extra fine Yovo nib there, uh, fines, mediums, you know like quite a quite a range really and uh, the only thing that really sort of comes through is the um, base state blue but that will leak through just about anything. So Tomo River paper is really really wonderful and you know I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up here but you do get sheen, you do get you know, when, they're in, when it's in the ink, shimmer and all that sort of stuff, but it's just, you can see a pop of the sheen there. Um, so it, it's really ink resistant paper, uh, and so really, really worth using in notebooks. And the fact that Standard Bindery are using them for these notebooks, I think is really, really great. Uh, as you can see, there's a huge sort of range of inks here from Robert Oster who gets sheen, and you know, there's some shimmer here, if I can find it somewhere. Give me a second. Well, just look at that sheen. That's Diamine uh, Coppens Robert. You know, huge amount of sheen there. Um, and here is some uh, shimmer from the Shake and Shimmy inks. So it all comes through on this paper. Um, and these notebooks are made really, really well. So this is this was used a lot, and it's picked up some scuff marks. It's picked up a little bit of bits and pieces here and there, some ink. Um, but the book has remained incredibly sturdy. Uh, no sort of real fraying on the seam there. 
It's still in really decent nick. Uh, and also on the inside of the seam here on the binding, it's holding up fairly well, which is a really good sign. A lot of staple bound notebooks tend to fray around the staple point. Uh, these ones are pretty sturdy. These are a good sturdy stock card there. Uh, as you can see, more of the information there uh, about the notebook in the back. So I'll just slip this in here. I actually forgot to add it into the uh, review, so um, bear with me. But I thought I'd just do a writing sample uh, in the book, seeing as though uh, we're all here. We might as well sort of see it in action. So what I have here is the Fine Writing International uh, Brass Pen, the Golden Armour, the newest version, uh, into with Waterman um, Serenity Blue. So let's see how we go. So this was the golden armor. That name uh, coming from a pattern in some uh, traditional armor that uh, is is engraved there on the pen on the pen cap. So as you can see, uh, nice smooth paper. It's fairly ink resistant. So if you've got a wet uh, ink, you actually are going to get a little bit of uh, ink movement around, uh, but. It shows up nice qualities in the ink, the ink looks great on the page. There's never going to be any bleeding, um, very little chance of any feathering as you can see, as you can see all these other tests, nothing is really going to come through. So really, this is really good quality paper and uh, if you're into fountain pens or any pens for that matter, Tom River paper is the way to go. Um, so these notebooks are A5 size, so they are 210 by 145 millimeters uh, and use the, the white paper so I think there's really a lot going for these notebooks um, there's also one sort of not a massive downside but you know a slight downside as if they come in packs of two um, and the small one for two small pocket notebooks is 1795 Australian so it's not particularly cheap the large one for two A5 notebooks, uh, once again, they're 80 pages, so you're getting 40 sheets, 80 pages, you're getting quite a lot of paper, but it's $24.95 Australian. So you are paying a premium price, but these are a premium uh, notebook of, in this sort of range. Um, they're well built, they're reliable, they're sturdy, they use great paper, they come beautifully packaged, and the service from Standard Bindery is second to none, particularly here in Australia, really. There's, there are very few uh, online stationery stores, or they have a brick and mortar store as well uh, in Queensland. So there's very few companies who have the customer service that Standard Bindery provide. So I think when you are paying for these sorts of products, you are getting something that is worth the money if that is a price that you are willing to pay for, you know, an 80 page notebook. Uh, knowing that, say, a, a Rhodia web notebook. Um, with 180 pages or whatever, 200 pages or whatever they have, uh, and the Clefontaine paper is about $30 for uh, one, and that's hardcover and all of that. But these are Toma River paper, which is, you know, as you can see from all these ink samples, just responds so beautifully uh, to all these different inks. These are all Robert Austin inks, but Robert Austin inks have different properties, you know, depending on the color. Um, but they just look amazing on this paper. Uh, and these books are going to last. They are just built so well. They're made so nicely. Uh, and they're packaged beautifully. And that actually does count. When you get something that looks like that when they arrive in the mail or when you buy them in a shop, I think that's actually a really nice touch. Uh, it, it shows that the company takes care in their product. Uh, and that actually does mean something. So if you're not familiar with standard bindery or book binders, I would suggest you actually check them out. I think that they're a really... Um, really nice company uh, as they were bookbinders online uh, have a great range of particularly things like Japanese stationery uh, Kiona Otto inks and things like that um, so a, a really good range and lots of different sort of paper options and quite a few pens Twisby and things like that so check them out look at what they have um, but check out these books you know for Tom or River notebooks you're not going to get much at a cheaper price uh, you know and if they can increase their line uh, and the things like the the rulings on the paper because these are all blank um you know if they can make 
traveler's notebook size and things like that, I think I'll actually end up being a real asset to the uh, to the paper stationery community. Uh, and these books will be really well renowned. Like these are beautiful. They're well made. They're sturdy. I trust this anywhere. Like I said I use this for my Robert Austin and I've been using it for ink reviews recently. So yeah, like it just performs beautifully, and the paper is lovely. So. I don't really have a lot to say. The biggest the biggest downside to this is the price, but you are getting a premium uh, object for that price. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, you can drop me a message on any of my videos here or email me, which is all listed down below. Uh, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. Or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your paper. Enjoy your writing, and I'll talk to you later.